What's up, family and friends? Once more, good morning and how are you? Welcome you to this quick uh, live broadcast I want to drop with us. Very important about family tree. Family tree is very important. You see all these trees standing behind me uh, in this park? They, have, they are just like human beings. These trees are standing because they have roots. When that root gets weaker or, or cut off, these trees dies and fall or falls and dies. So that's how family tree is. The worst thing that will happen to you is to be disconnected from your root. When you are disconnected from your root, you have no future. You can die at any time and that's it, you're rotten. You will no longer live long as you're supposed to live. Exactly what is happening to you Africans today. You see how they detached us from our roots and they say they grafted us into another tree that's nonsense the trees stand because of their root in the ground not because of the trunk not because of the branches not because of the leaves no your parents your current parents they are the trunk they are like the br branch of the tree your grandparents are like the trunk but your ancestors are like the roots of the tree if you love your parents that are live that are living now that's the branches and you say you love you the trunk your, your your grandparents how about your ancestors the root the root you cannot see but they are the thing that is holding you your ancestors you are one with your ancestors the tree is nothing without its root you are rootless when you say you are in christ you are rootless when you say you are a christian you are rootless when you say you are a muslim you are rootless when you say you are a jew you are african africans you existed before christianity you existed before islam you existed before judaism look at the tree and think even in your bible when they, th they say that jesus uh, mm, lay hands on his, a blind man and he said ask the man what do you see he said he said he saw men like trees men walking like trees men walking like trees is it not also written in your bible that the life of a man will be like that of a tree don't you think you're supposed to know your root you can never function well in another tree in another root you have to be connected in your root family is very important it is time you put your family first before God. They tell you, put God first. Why are you putting God first? Because that God has nothing to do with you. You are the one that have to put God there. He was not there first. No, you are the one that accepted that faith, that lie, that deception, that belief to put God first. If God really existed, you don't need to put him first. You, I, I cannot tell you to put your ancestors first because they are first. In your life whether you accept them or not whether you insult them or not whether you agree with them or not your ancestors are the force in your life not any god your ancestors brought you forth without your ancestors without the root the tree will not stand without your ancestors you won't be here today you have to consider your family your family is very important stop considering your faith but family Faith is strange. Faith comes from, from outside you. You weren't born with that faith you have. And you can discard that faith. You have the power to do that. Now, your family. Your family uh, has been divided by religion. Jesus came, he said he did not come to bring uh, peace, but sword. And a man's enemy will be the member of his household a man's enemy why will you have enemy from your household your parents that love you they, they are the one that gave back to you why would they suddenly become your enemy why will your children suddenly become your enemy because of jesus because of god that your oppressors force on you think about it my people and begin to wake up your family is very important there is no person that will just wake up and begin to attack his family. You have to be under some certain influence, religion. Religion is the thing that have influenced us and we begin to attack our loved ones that are, that are telling us the truth against religion. Truth against the lies about God, the lies about Jesus. That is what religion has done. You have seen some Muslims kill their loved ones because of Allah, because of Islam. 
you have seen jews you have seen christians killing their loved ones or hating their loved ones because of their love for jesus jesus you have not seen mr oh bro i don't think i have time maybe for you to be let me say let me give you a minute to say something mm, let me see if you something your family is very important to you but if my family member decide to attack me like the that witch obioma i call i call her witch because she's a witch she came against me calling me antichrist telling accusing me of not taking care of my family my family and she's supposed to be part of my family that is the idiot i have sent money to him, to her from america and that idiot still have the god to, uh, to accuse me wrongly, calling me antichrist for Jesus, Jesus Christ, she hasn't seen. Yeah, nah, no, okay. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm How sorry. Um, uh, sorry that uh, you know I watched your video this morning oh. where you mentioned about your sister, and it, it got me thinking. He, um, he worried me so much, you know, and um, that was the only reason why I wanted to like, um, you know. To console you, my, my I'm, call. I have a problem with that. Though. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Are when I sorry? say console, when I say console, you not as if you are mourning, but you know, you know, I can feel, I feel your pain, I feel <laughs> what you are saying. You mm -hmm. see, the thing is that you cannot. We can, what we are doing to educate mm -hmm. our people, to mm -hmm. tell our people the the ills of religion how we were programmed um, to believe, you know, mm. how we were given a system, a system which was created by some people somewhere and they brought it and used it to indoctrinate us. Mm. And uh, we, um, um, because of our exposure or travel and all that, we happen to find out some of these things and we are coming back to talk to our people that these things are just schemes and scamming. And then there are some of them are fighting us. They also fighted me. I mean, wow. fought me. So. Mm -hmm. They also, I was also fought, you know. But, you know, the thing is that when you stand your ground and then people who had fought me in the past had come back and say, wow, you know, at first when you were talking what you were talking, I was so angry. But, hey, listen, it makes, it's making sense. You know, what you're saying is true, but what can we do? Some knows you're saying the truth. That's why we're, Listen, we're, we keep saying it until they know what to do. It's yeah, simple. some of them know that you are telling the truth. But you okay. know, because, because they can't imagine dropping all those Jesus thing and Mary and all those things they've been saying, you understand, mm -hmm. and begin to follow what you're saying, you understand. So that is the thing. So some know that the thing is not working. Mm -hmm. They know that it's not working. They know that when they need money, they call on you to send them money from America and you mm -hmm. send them money. But do you know, do you see how someone you are helping, mm -hmm. someone you are giving money will come and have the mouth to tell you blah, 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 and all those rubbish. So my brother, keep doing what you're doing. Of course. Um, mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, we are all in this game together. So yep. thank you so much for, thank you. Thank you, for the brother, opportunity. Man. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, my brother. Uh, Thank of you. Of course. Thank you. Uh, yeah, okay. right. You can hang up now. The other person want to come. Yeah. Of course, these people know the truth, but they love their faith over the truth. They call me Antichrist because they are anti truth. Even my aunt in America here, they also gossip to her and she believed them. They think I am against God. I said, I am against Christ, not against you. How can I be against my family? No, I'm in America today because people like my aunt, you know, did something for me to be here, not any God. But when I, that time I believe it was God that is making it. If it is God, why would God allow those antichrists to come to America in the first place? Why would God allow like the Muslims or other people that don't believe in Jesus to come to America? Okay, let me let uh, Eze in. So why would God always favor those you seem like enemy or antichrist and God is not favoring you? It has nothing to do with God. It is us. 
we are gods and goddesses. How dare you call me antichrist when I never said, uh, I mean, anti -God, when you say, you call me atheist, when I never said there, there is no gods and goddesses. I said there are gods and goddesses, but there is no almighty God anywhere. That's what I said. So I'm not an atheist. All right, brother. Um, uh, how are you? Yeah. Uh, let, me say Fine. Good afternoon. let me say something before you continue. At least you are in Nigeria mm -hmm. and you are coming online. Most people in Nigeria don't have, I don't know how much you have or how much you're making for you to and the, the internet. When I come to Nigeria, I'm coming to Nigeria next month. So I would like to get whatever connection you get is, uh, in my village because I want to be transmitting from my village. So I would like to connect okay. to you to ask you what you are using to use it. So go on. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I listened to what you were saying, and um, it, actually what you're saying happened to me exactly. Oh. And you can see now, okay, called now, the same story. Mm -hmm. It's expected. You know, mm -hmm. in the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 34 or so, of it's Christ said, I didn't come, I didn't come. Division. Yeah, I came to, to put salt. Mm -hmm. Salt to divide mother from mother in law, I mean, daughter from mother in law, father from son, and all that. Yeah. So, when these things begin to happen, it's expected that when Africans will wake up, mm. it's going to cause division within the home. Shut up. Division within the home. It's mm. definitely going to cause division within the home. I, I was married, I had uh, three children, my first marriage. Mm -hmm. We never fought, we never quarreled. But when this whole thing got into my system and I was ready to share it with people, mm, the Hell priest came. Broke loose. <laughs> yeah, family came. Sisters <laughs> came. They formed a, a committee on me on how to deal with this boy. Well, what can you do with a man with this knowledge of his ancestor? No, no you can't. So you they broke the rooted. family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they broke the family. She's gone, and I don't want to vacuum, course, so I replace you, her. You, you don't. You, a tree does not grow old with the leaves. It's standing with so. Yeah. Come on, keep living your life, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I replace her quickly, and the uh, life course. is good once again, and I'm happy. So you may have to understand with your sister that she's going through. It changed. My cousin, my cousin. No, none of my sister. Your cousin. Better. My sister follow me on Facebook. Okay. None of they know me better. Any my family members like my siblings. They know like my my younger brother in Italy. She he communicates with me too. He listening to my to my video. But that lady is a witch. I know they used to take her to deliverance center and all that. And she think running to TB Joshua will save her. She said she's following TB Joshua. That evil man, a man of God or whatever they call him. No, she should she should come to you for real knowledge. Once she get the truth, the evil oh, spirit will go up. Mm -hmm. Before when I sleep at night, I used to have something like gorilla would come and press me in my sleep. <laughs> I would fight for hours. When I used to go to church. Of course. Now who is the gorilla? Now nothing comes close to me. I'm already I know the everything. So nothing comes close to me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I see no evil dream. I'm okay. So we'll continue gradually, and uh, those who do not know will continue to know. I tell her that. I tell her she has to confess, and, or she yeah. dies simply. That's what I tell her, and I'm not joking. She thought I'm joking. No, because I never rise up against her. I never rise up against anyone. If you insult yeah. me, I insult you. But if you accuse me wrongly, I will, I, I will tell you the whole truth about yourself. I never hide my past life. Uh, everybody that knows me on Facebook know I expose everything about me because how can I be exposing lies but I cannot expose my past? That's crazy. Yourself. You have to be bold enough to say the truth. If, if there, there's, no, there's no truth in, in being coward. You have to be bold to say the truth. And when you say the yeah. truth, you don't care who else is going. You don't care who is coming against you. Be, just as you said, you are now rooted in your ancestors, not as the Bible yes. tells you to be rooted in Christ. Why are you asking me to be rooted no. in Christ when I had roots already? You have to you know, disconnect me from my roots to, to ask me to be rooted in another tree. No, I am rooted in my ancestors and my family tree is stands. This is what a Christianity does. They use that sword in Matthew chapter 10, verse 38, to cut off the branches from the, our tree. They cut off they yes. made that division. And when I was a Christian was when I saw that revelation. But do you know what I, I attributed this to? I said, oh, I was cut off from my Zangwe family. You know, our ancestors were evil. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but but the, the, what the, it was opposite that happened. Just, I tell you, I, I, you see our yeah. ancestors calling us, but we are saying God is calling me. Jesus is calling me. No, the blood is what is speaking. Not any God in yes. the world. It is the blood. 
even in the yes. blood of Abel crying from the ground, the blood of our ancestors is calling us. They are not crying. They are yeah. calling us to wake up because they know they are part of us. We are one. We never end. Yeah. Our life is eternal. We are not going to any heaven or any hell. The earth is our home. We are planted here naturally. You cannot cut off, you cannot, you cannot remove every tree and every grass on earth. No matter how you try, you, you clear them here. You say you want to clear the other ones, the other, another one begin to grow up. That is how and that we are. Ah, naturally. Not any God, not made by any God. We naturally hear there's no first man and first woman. No, we, we you don't you don't clear the ground and say, okay, this is the first grass here. This is the first no. <laughs> Or the first goods. <laughs> and then, so, thank I'm you. happy. And once again, I want to thank you for the job you are doing, educating our people. And I, I, I read the comments they are making against you sometimes. You know, like the last yeah. one you share about a church and all that shit that's doing that, and I laugh. But I don't care about what. I, and you know me, I give it to them as they. Uh, uh, you know, That's what yeah. people say. If you come to uh, attacking me, I will also defend myself and uh, come against you. Until, and I'm not yeah. coming against you to keep it, to bury you with factual truth. The simple question yeah. you cannot answer. You ask, you tell me, oh, you are, you are insulting your creator. I say, who is your creator? Where are your parents? They are your creators. A God cannot create, can, cannot create anything. A God needs a goddess to create anything. That's why yeah. Genesis 1 to say, come, let us. He did not say, let me make man in my own image. He said, come, yeah. let us. It was, God was talking to the goddess. That's why God not that made God and, fox too. <laughs> yeah. And you can only make what is like you. Of course. You can only bring that. So they were talking about our ancestors. Simple as ABC. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they they don't know. They don't Thanks know. Thanks very much, for they don't know. Yeah. You have to use your common sense to read the Bible, to see the lies and how they use it to deceive our people. All right? So, yeah. they, I don't blame them because most of them never even read one page of the Bible. They only read yeah. what their devotional book tell them. Devotional book. Or what the man of God say, what they write in pen during the message. That's it. They read that portion. They say they, they claim to know everything. You don't know everything about a book because you flip the pages. No, you have to study. I spent years, years studying the Bible, devouring the Bible, preaching the Bible, defending the Bible. You telling me I was never a Christian? I, I was never I a see, believer. That I, I, I see your pictures. I see your pictures. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, man. So thank you. Let me know what I'm doing. All right. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> so my, my, my people, my family and friends, your family is very important. Stop putting God over your family. Stop putting Jesus over your family. You have not seen that God. You have not seen that Jesus. But you can see your family. In your time of need, who comes to help you? When you fall down or when you break your bone, when you need to be rushed to hospital, can God do that? Can any Jesus do that? When you are sick, why not you wait for your pastor to come and pray and you get healed without you going to a chemist or a hospital or doctor for any solution to that your sickness or disease. Come on, thank my people. Stop believing the lies they put in the Bible which cannot replay themselves or manifest today. They cannot try to prove anything you believe about God. You will find that you either end up in public shame or sudden death. That's it. There is no, it cannot, it cannot be proven. So this is what I want to share with you. And I thank for those two brothers that share with us. Listen. We must continue doing this. And no devil, no God will stop us because we are the creators of those gods and devils. We are powerful. We are wiser. We are, we are, we are more than them. And we never let them to keep uh, uh, destroying the lives of our people. If you love your people, tell them the whole truth. I love my family. I love my cousins. I love my uncles. I love my aunts. I love my parents. I love my siblings. I love my neighbors. I love my people. And I will continue telling them the truth. If you are not telling your people the truth, you are lying to them. And they will die ignorant, just as you will die ignorant. Don't die ignorant, my people. Don't attack your family members, but if they attack you, attack them back with the truth. Attack them back with facts. And never you say you will never love them again when they come back to their senses. Remember, it is family tree. And you cannot, you cannot disconnect yourself unless you are living by faith. So please, wake up and do the right thing. All right? Peace.